beautiful humans. My name is Ariane Andrew. I'm Matt Dillon, and welcome to another piping hot episode of Sipping the Tea, where we are. Zip the tea and our guests. Spill that tea! Yes, we're getting good at yes, that, girl. This is hot, hot tea today. Mm. <laughs> Who we got here? We got this little uh, Miss Mama. Oh, and she is serving. She's sure. serving. Hey, girl. Mm. And we have a little glitty glit over here. And, uh, as you can tell, we've got Mr. Bronze Avery in the uh, house, people. I mean, <laughs> serving looks, serving tunes. Always. Serving always. records, honey. Always. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and serving I'm some uh, connection. <laughs> What's up, my brother? Welcome. Uh, I'm so happy to be here with you guys. We're glad to have you. Okay, so you, we're just going to get straight into this. Dive so in. Dive right in. on in. Dive <laughs> on in. So take us back. When did you know that you had a passion for music? And what was your thought process of the thought process of the style of music you wanted to do? Literally from birth. Like, I've been singing since, like, pretty much I was born. He's, like, in the womb. Boom. Like, literally. Like, that was the only thing I just, like, loved to do so much. And I had, like, a lot of different skills that I was, like, tapping into. But music was, like, the main one. But I don't know. I was always inspired by, like, Gwen Stefani, the Pussycat Dolls, like Nelly Furtado. I was a pop girl from the beginning of time. So like that's the kind of music I do now. And a lot of people will be like, oh, like, do you do R&B or hip hop? I'm like, no, like it's all pop music. You know what I mean? This is what I grew up listening to. Your music is popping. It is popping, it, it is, is popping. Pop Let's it. pop right into <laughs> new single, Never Be You. Uh, I mean, that could be, it could be about a long lost lover that you're like flicking or it could be like breaking the, the wall and the, you know, Kind of peeling the onion layers back. No, it's so amazing. Like I'll get like messages of people like this, like is helping me get through this breakup of this guy who's like trying to get back with me. The song really is like about honestly myself and just like you know letting go of an old self that was just like holding me back like with insecurities. But I also like it being like a breakup bot because you know I'm all about that too. He's like <laughs> chingo chingo. Like, like come on, multiple sings. reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. No, but I mean, everybody can relate to that because everyone's right. gone through a breakup at one point. They're just like, it is not going to be you, boo. It's just never going to be you. Yeah, and it can be about like a parent. It is literally anything There's or anything lyrics. holding you back. Your Rolodex of music is telling not only a story with your musical growth, but perhaps it's telling little snippets of your life through it. Mm -hmm. And I think that in itself has impacted the LGBT community, the allies. Take us through that because I think your openness to sharing has compounding effect. And I think that's important as a young artist. Yeah, I feel like when I first started doing music and putting out music, it was under a completely different name. And I was like not talking about my queerness, like literally at all. I was trying like, to like get a blend. Rap. <laughs> like, <laughs> can you imagine? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I was just like not, like, I don't know, it, nothing was really connecting. And when I started being really honest in my music, that's when I felt like people were, like, were really connecting to me. And I also feel like I honestly learn more about myself through each release too. Like as I release mm -hmm. songs, I'm learning more about my sound, what I like, what I want to talk about. Like it's getting a little bit more laser focused, but I think it's okay to start off, you know, figuring out where it is. But as I go deeper into this artistry, I find like I know more about myself. Artistry. But I love artistry. that. So you know, okay, I have a question. <laughs> I know that you literally like dance to the beat of your own drum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is great because some people are so confined to either doing what other people are telling them to do or they're scared of what people are gonna say. So where does this confidence come from to say like, no, I'm not gonna adapt to what the music industry wants me to do. No, I'm not an R and B artist, I'm a pop artist. Where did that confidence come from? Thanks for saying that. That means so much because that's like exactly the Ooh. point, like when I was kind of growing up, I always wanted to make sure, you know, I'm not just like being good to be good. I want to be different and stand out in that way. Cause I, I don't know, I'm having the most fun when I'm just literally being myself. I'm not worrying about what everyone else is trying to do. I've never been interested in like the mainstream and what they sound like. I want to sound like me. That's bomb. I mean, did you, start off like that from the beginning? Have you always been like that? Or was that like a transition with the music and finding yourself? I think so. And I always just felt like maybe my music wasn't good enough or maybe it wasn't, you know, at the ranks of the rest. But as I get, like I was saying with each release, I'm like, you know what? Like I want to sound just like how I want to sound. And if I love it, that's what really matters to me. Cause then I know other people will like it too. Authenticity is, is key in life. But I think in the craft and like the way you 
just talk about your craft and the artistry. It really like it resonates through your energy sitting here that this is what you want to do. This is mm -hmm. what you're meant to do. And in a way, obviously you want, I, I think you have huge mainstream success ahead of you. But at the same time, I think you're happy comes from just doing it the way you want to do it. Yeah, like in a sense, I want to be like a trendsetter. Like I don't want to just follow what everyone else yeah, is doing. You I want to like be in my own lane. <laughs> <laughs> yes, trendsetter. <laughs> but seriously, that means that really means so much. It's true. Let's give you a little cheers. Okay, he just took a <laughs> sip. He just sipped back. He just sipped. Oh, like cheers, cheers to me. To show you some love, honey. Cheers. Oh, don't leave me hanging, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So what advice would you give to a young up and coming artist who's trying to pave the way, who feels stuck and trying to find, I guess, like who they are? Like what advice would you give when someone just feeling stuck? I think the biggest thing that I learned was you can't really rely on anybody else to do something for you. If you're confused about how to, and, and learn all the technology you can, if you're confused about how to do something, if you're confused about who to ask, it's like, oh, I, if only I had this person to do this. If only, if you just do it yourself, it's gonna be the exact way you want it. Sometimes it's frustrating for sure because you don't have every single skill right when you start. Totally. But the more you get into it, the more confident you'll know about other aspects. So when you can bring in other people, you'll know exactly how to talk to them. But that's what I think has like, gotten me this far is just not being afraid to just say like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it myself. I like that and yeah. I like the fact that you touched on learning the facets of the business. Mm -hmm. Because that as an artist that's coming up that doesn't have a machine behind them is all about if you can, even just by asking the questions, mm -hmm. you can never be wrong asking a question in life. Yeah. You Seriously. can never be wrong. They might tell you to fuck off, but it's <laughs> alright. You can ask somebody else. You just keep that trial and error process, and I love that you touched on that because I think a lot of young up and comers look at the top and they're like, there's a huge disparity between there and there. And it's like now, in anyone's craft, I think it's important to know every little facet, nook, and cranny of that craft. Yes, and those are the people who are rising up and being stars, mm. the people who are sitting in their bedroom doing it all by themselves. Yeah. That's what's really appealing to people. They like being involved in every part of the craft. And also, just like, that's what's more profitable, honestly, in the industry as well, is just being able to like, do it all yourself. It's true. I mean, so look, look. Jack all trades, it, chill over here. <laughs> what am I? I'm a, I'm a queen, Kenny. I'm, I'm one of I'm those ones that's in the uh, shower. Just trying to uh -huh. live my best life, you know? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> no, what I was going to say about you, like, look at how well that you do with, you know, PR and knowing, like, every, you know, detail need, to, you know, that you need to know to be the best. I already got him you know? tagged, honey. Like I've been, we've been interviewing so many amazing musicians and people that I'm like, girl, let me know when your next release is. We'll talk, chat. Oh, I'll talk, thank you. I was like, I think, yeah, thank you for that, because that's a, that's an interesting thing. But it's also like finding your niche. Yeah. And mm -hmm. also like knowing what everybody else is doing is also an important part. No matter, I think in life as well. I want to talk about visuals. Okay. Like the visuals, because you, you have quite a little spicy film clip that, that came out with, you know, some buns and some huns. There were some, some buns. buns. <laughs> and, and some boys. Some buns, some, some huns. Buns. Your buns. <laughs> Toy buns. <laughs> Take so, us through concept to life, to what we see out there. So I, I didn't even really want to do, like music videos were not something like on my radar. Let me tell you, girl, you got me sweating. <laughs> I know, it was something I didn't really want to do. And my friend, um, Sean, he came to me with such a great idea to do like an all male dance class. And then I just started helping like craft the story around that. And I wanted to, to be a real great visual representation of myself and my everyday life and what I'm about in a music video. So my friend Joe, who's like, I've worked with him for like years on videos, he really helped bring that to life. So I wanted to be like sexy, I wanted to show off my ass, I wanted Ooh, to like get some cute yeah. boys in there. Y'all better Google that shit up on the YouTube. It's popping. It's popping, girl. But yeah, I just, I also like, I wanted to showcase that I could dance because I was not really showcasing that at all. And Smart. I wanted. I just wanted this video to be like everything, like introducing Bronze Avery. Like, this is who. Well, the introduction, yeah. honey. <laughs> the that was carpet is out. Yeah. Ari texts me. She goes, "Have you seen that film clip?" I was like, "Girl, yes." <laughs> 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 I love it. 
Hello. <laughs> What other secrets do we need to know? I mean, you said that you know you never show your dancing. I know. What, what, else, you what else, else do I have? Mm. In what here? tea can you spill, Hanny? Mm. Ready? I don't really have any like. <laughs> <laughs> she woke up. She, uh, we're ready for that tea. Child. Uh, I wish I don't have any like other secret talents, but I feel like I have like lots of talents. Like I said, just through being like a jack of all trades. Like I do graphic design. I do web design, coding. Chore choreography, dancing, business skills, PR, press, like literally you just have to learn all of it just through all these years. It's smart. Yeah. It's the way it's the way to look at life and be like, you don't have to be the best in everything, but you need to know and be well versed in many things, I believe. Mm -hmm. so yeah. To get to just keep up in this business. I mean Los Angeles is a crazy ass city. Ooh, mm -hmm. And you're you're the you're the original because you came from uh, sunny Florida, huh? I came from yeah. Florida. <laughs> yes. My Florida bitches are crazy. I feel like whenever I meet someone and they have the same crazy ass energy as me, I'm like, I know you're from Florida. I just see it. But wait, I, I mean I'm not from Florida. And you're from I'm Australia. from down under, honey. We're that's the only, we're the only place you got crazy people. That is true. But you can feel, there's a Florida energy. That's why I knew you guys weren't from Florida. Oh, you there's, knew? Oh, so because we're, oh, we're not lit. Because we, we're not lit. No, <laughs> no, you can we're, be lit. But like Florida, honestly, like Florida bitches are a little crazy. I feel like a little fucked up sometimes in, a, in the best way. Wait, what part? Oh, I'm from Central Florida. Okay. So I feel like that's really, it's like Central Florida is really, it's like, its own breed of people over there. It's Liddy in the city. Gotta, it's Liddy. We gotta get a little trip. It's underrated. People right. think it's just Disney, but they're hoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well that was some tea spiller. Yeah, 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 they mm -hmm. hoes. Mm -mm -mm. I so said, oh! <laughs> he's, he's sipped, honey. We better mm -hmm. spill some. Uh, um, before we get into rapid fire, we do want to know what is next for you. What's the next chapter? So next is... I want to sit on this single for a little bit, but the next thing has to be a project. You know, people have been wanting something a little bit longer, something with a little bit more of a story crafted around you. it. Yeah, and I feel like I'm finally getting, I've been like writing so much, I feel like I'm finally able to curate and be like, this one, this one, this one. You got an EP, together. perhaps? That's what I think is going to be happening. 2019, we'll maybe? We'll see, for sure, this year. Okay. okay. This is not the end of the year, so. But, oh, we are gotta... really living close. Oh, well, I close. feel like it's already close. I'm like, ooh, I feel like. Don't, don't, <laughs> hate, don't hate yourself, girl. And, no, no, no. I mean, I know there's still a lot of time, but how fast time has been going since January. It's, it's like, so true. It's been just so quick. Blink and I and Little Christmas Eve. That's ooh. crazy. And are you going to heavily like be involved in the writing? You know, how's that collaboration oh, process? I actually think what I'm getting more, even more and more involved in is the producing of it. Because I've, I've always baby. written yes. everything, but... I don't know, just producing is just so fun. I'm able to create the exact sound that I want. Because, you know, sometimes when you're working with someone, it's not exactly what you want. Exactly, That's how you have yeah. to learn every part of it. But I feel so excited and proud that the next stuff is going to be like, more stuff that up. I produce. I know, I'm just I'm so happy about it. I'm excited for you. I like, seeing the, I like seeing somebody that's truly found their place and knows what they want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's an exciting, like, you know, tip, tipping points coming. Yeah, and plus you you can you can tell like you know exactly what you want when you speak. You're like I want this, and you're afraid. You're not afraid to just like step Girl, out. I was like no, afraid. No, 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 he's not. <laughs> you're not afraid to just go out and be yourself, which most people struggle with. They're trying to be the next this, the next that, the next Kim K. Like instead of just being them, and you're like. Well, he could be the next Kim K. Without it. <laughs> <laughs> no, my hair. I was like the toothbrush. Got some yellow spandex popping up in there, girl. You could be an underwear model at that at that rate, honey. I am rapid fire people. Rapid, <laughs> rapid fire. So let me let me. I digress. Let's pull out some of these questions Ooh. real fast, because mm, I want to make sure we don't miss them. All right, if I can get to them. Oh, she got them. <laughs> please, please hold. Please tick hold. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay. All righty. Girl, these are. Okay, fine. Come up with your own then, Hanny. All right. Now we can start with. If you're stuck on a deserted island, who's the one person you bring with you and you can never get off it? I can never get off no, it? No, you're just deserted for life. Oh my God, who would Come I rapid bring? Rapid fire now. I think I would bring my mom, to be honest. Me too! Aww. Because I feel like she would that's really know how to like... by the way. Yeah, oh my <laughs> gosh. You ain't fucking your mother, so that's the it's end the of end. the world. It really is the like end of the world. Imploded. But I feel like she would be like, I feel like we would get off. I guess we can never like, get off. But I feel like we'd have a great time together, to be honest. Yeah. Because my mom's like my best friend. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. Yes. You can tell a good person by 
if they love their mom. Uh, if you don't love no, your mom, mom you that's, got some no, that's the truth though. Especially, you know, when I'm looking for the, the men, I'm like, well, if you don't like your mama, then what's gonna I make agree. you think that you're gonna mm -hmm. respect me or love me? I feel that, unless their mama does something real bad. <laughs> you know, mamas go off skew sometimes, but don't we? But yeah, I, I, I love my mom. Okay, so next question Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? I think I'm gonna have to say, oh my gosh, this is such a moment. We're gonna drum roll. <laughs> I literally love them both, but I have to say Cardi B right now. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, no, What's your rapid fire, boo? Ooh. Wanna do the last one? Okay. Hmm. You need it on like a positive note. Yeah, if there was a secret formula to success in one sentence, what would it be? Hmm. I feel this is going to be a namaste moment. Yeah. People, so Let's prepare see. themselves. Prepare we always end on a positive note. Focus on the money. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 hey, let's keep it, a, let's keep it a 1,000. Listen, come on now. Hey, come on now. On, on, on that don't note. Don't that. <laughs> if it don't make money, it don't make sense. Okay? I feel that. Yes. Mama agrees, honey. <laughs> so for people who are living under a rock, Right here to this camera, let everyone know where to follow you at, what they can expect. Is it this one? Yeah, this one right here. This one right here. Yeah, this one. Do I dream of Donald yeah. Trump? Everyone's pointing like this one. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find me anywhere you can search Bronze Avery. So it's Bronze Avery on Instagram, Bronze Avery on Twitter, bronzeavery.com, youtube.com slash Bronze Avery. Just Bronze Avery, you're going to find it. If you Google it, you're going to find it. <laughs> See, that's a good branding right there across the board. <laughs> You can follow me across the board at Ariane Andrew. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good branding. Cross right? the board. Right. Cross the you board. can follow me across the board at Mad Deal in 1983. <laughs> you can follow Mama at across the board at It's Mama 2011. And you can follow Glitty across her Instagram. Okay, so we have to we have to do a little cheers to Thank enter. Thank you so much for Thank coming. Thank you for having My us. God. So much yes. fun. Best of success. Best of luck. And keep that energy. Let's roll that out with with the track. Hit the track.